All right, what we've got here is I'm going to show you a way to record. I'm going to show you a way to record with Yahoo Pipes and take the output of Yahoo Pipes and feed them into your WordPress site. A couple prerequisites need to be set up front. Number one, you need to have Feed WordPress installed. And the second one, you need to have an active Yahoo email password and login. You need to log in those and then you can go to pipes.yahoo.com and that will open up this page. As a supporting feature in this, you also need to have, if you're going to steal someone else's output, you need to have Feedage available. F-E-E-D-A-G-E.com. I suspect there are more out there. This happens to be the one I found to find some easy listings of who has what RSS feeds because this is going to enable you to tap the best of the best of the RSS feeds that are out there and filter them based on your needs. Now, here's a very rough subject. You're going to put in knitting. Nah, it's just something to play with. Don't do don't get in a twist here. This is just something to play with for a way of extracting off. Now, you do have, let's see, let's fetch a feed. And I'm also going to go through Yahoo. Now, this first sources section determines where your data, where your information comes from. So you could do a CSV, a comma, comma sorted uh, variable you could effectively get that out of a database and extract that information from there and still be able to use it now after you have an output from here the next segment to go to will be operators now first I'm going to filter it by the subject and I'm going to filter both of these by the subject. So I'm going to link those two together. Link this. Link here. Now, since I've got these two inputs here, now I'm going to pull a union. Now this will allow me to take the output from this side and from this side and feed it in. Now the output of here I'm going to do a filter again. I'm going to do a sort followed by a filter. So what I'm looking at, what we're looking at to doing here is first we're going to sort them by date. Then I'm going to filter those to only include the last dates. Pay no attention to the spaghetti here. It still works. And then I'm going to send it to the pipe output. So first here I'm going to go into knitting in Yahoo. This is going to search all of Yahoo. Now I'm going to permit this filter. Permit where item title contains knitting. Now, if I click on this filter and take a look at the values down here, you can see we pulled in about 20 different 20 different values. Knitting supplies, how to choose knitting needles, etc. Now, before I get to the other segment completed, I'm going to turn around and say I want to sort item updated on in ascending order descending order now I'm going to block items so now that we've sorted them I'm going to block items swap here. Item updated on. There's another value I need to put 
put in and I'll be back to that in just a little bit. Okay, it'll have to let me go through. So see, I can cut it back, go to here, go to the sort. Let me do a refresh. Okay. Now, here we go. Pardon me. I need to do a count. Oh, not a count. Truncate. Pardon me. Truncate. I'm taking this master feed since it's been sorted and now I'm going to sort it for the last 12 latest 12 values now refresh and I want to see it at the pipe output you notice now our pipe output contains 12 items since we have it in descending order we will catch that in the latest and greatest now I'm going to take this over here and snag this value from the top one I'm going to insert it in here now I'm going to say permit items that match the following rules item title contains knitting alright let's stop right here and take a look notice as this pulsates on the bottom here it's looking to create a value Permit. Looks like that did let me check our feed here again. See? Okay, let's change that to any. And let's add another one and say item description contains knitting or maybe these are multiple, these are additive. Item summary contains knitting. Now let's take a look. We've got a whole one item that came out of there. Now let's add another URL to it. I'm going to go back over here and I don't want the same source. I don't want the same source. All right, here's another one that's a feed. Let's go ahead and snag that one. Now, we now have, remember, this is showing it. At the sort, we show 19 items. If we go to the pipe output, we're now restricted to the top 12 items. Now, you're getting a summary from multiple URLs, multiple RSS feeds, as filtered by what the content is. Here you're doing a Yahoo search based on the filtering. You're coming down here and performing a union of that value. Then we're going to sort that by when the item was updated. And then we're going to truncate this after, the, after 12. So we're going to take the top 12 items and we're going to pipe this to the output. Now, save this value as knitting. Pardon me. All right, continuing. I'll have to remember to get my... All right, so now what we've got is we're saving this under knitting. And as soon as this is through saving, I'm going to go back to my pipes, hit knitting. This is what the output of the pipe looks like that was just created based on what is found in the latest. Now there are multiple ways of getting this. Now for the information we want in uh, in WordPress. If you get his badge, click on the WordPress, take this list badge value. Is one way of doing it. You can take that and embed it in your web page. If you embed that in your web page, you end up with an iframe application that in effect 
puts that information in there. Unfortunately, your website will not get credit for what's there, but you can use that directly into your web page. So it will help to a certain degree. The next trick is get as an RSS. Now, if I get as an RSS, note the top of the screen that you can't see. I got to keep that concealed a little bit. And you copy that value that's a render RSS. Now, go over to your syndication feed and add a new source to your syndicated source. When you add that to the source, wait for it to update here, guess what? You can use this feed and say use First you subscribed. Now, guess what? This output right now in, in this application, uh, you can just determine where this goes. In this case, instead of it going to the main page, oh, pardon me. Instead of going to the main page, in this case, it's being inserted into the post. It's being published as a syndicated post and updates and keeping a local a local copy so now what we've done is if I go out to the website where it's at I would now have all of those knitting which I'm going to have to delete mind you all those knitting feed data added to my information every time the syndication runs so in effect I'm getting a customized RSS feed as an aggregator from multiple locations in a single output. So if there's something you really want to follow on on the net, instead of searching for it once and doing it every day and, and, and do it from scratch every day, you can set it up with this and be able to automatically have it done for your website. It'll also do wonders for making you appear and become the expert in here because now your website will have information on it in a summation that no one's website else's website will have. All right, let's see. Uh, first, I'm going to unsubscribe because I want to remove it. Mm hmm delete this indicated and all the posts that were done it unsubscribe it doesn't take any difference with my with my feeds that are already there it just eliminates it on the front end all right let's see how we done did all right.